show you guys is called Jane. This was from the Real Housewives of the Tudor Dynasty collection, which was a collection based off of Henry VIII's wives, and I was so into it. This was the first full collection that I ever purchased from Rescue Beauty Lounge. I want to say these came out probably in around 2009 or 2010. This one is based off of Jane Seymour, so it is your classic sort of nude base, cream base. There is a tiny bit of a shimmer running through there, a really, really, really delicate gold shimmer running through there. It's a very, very pretty neutral base. It's got a little bit more of a putty tone to it, so not quite of a warm neutral or like a pinky neutral. This is more of your brown neutral. So that's what it looks like in the first coat. It has a really nice Rescue Beauty Lounge formula, so it's pretty opaque in one coat. It does get fully opaque in two. I'm going to go in now with the second coat, and this gets fully opaque in two coats. Sorry there was a gap in videos last week. I ended up house-sitting last minute, and then it was Mother's Day, so I just had a lot of stuff that I had to do. It was actually our Mother's Day celebration at the preschool that I work at as well, so last week ended up being quite busy outside of work, um, and so YouTube had to take a little step back for a second. Um, but I'm back this week. So yeah, this is what Jane looks like up close really pretty. I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day for everyone that celebrated with their moms or is a mom or anyone that celebrated outside of that. You don't necessarily have to be a female to be a mother. So yeah, I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. Oh, I just realized that the sun is visible in this spot through the window that is kind of Anyway, um, that's what that shiny light is. But this is what Jane looks like up close. Really, really pretty, really neutral. Just like my other Rescue Beauty Lounge video, I will be keeping all of my other Rescue Beauty Lounge polishes, mostly for nostalgia's sake. Um, Rescue Beauty Lounge is a brand, was well, the first brand that I ever worked with, so um, I am going to keep all of them. So yeah, that is what Jane looks like up close. The next polish that I have to show you is called Gelato Al Chocolato, and this one was a... Italy based collection. Um, I don't know if it was specifically like Rome or, but it was an Italy based collection. And this is for sure like a chocolate ice cream color, full on like Haagen Dazs chocolate or gelato chocolate color. It is beautiful. It's perfect. It is opaque. Oh, well, it's not opaque in one coat. It's almost opaque in one coat. Um, but yeah, it goes on really smoothly and really easily. So yeah, that is the first coat. I'm going to go in now with the second coat of Gelato Al Chocolato, and again, this gets fully opaque in two coats, and really easy to work with, and a beautiful brown cream. So here's what it looks like up close, again, a really, really pretty brown cream. Um, this one is one that I did kind of forget that I had, so I will look through my other brown creams to see if I can de-stash any of those, because I do love the way this one looks on my skin tone. The next color that I have to show you is called A Lonely House. This was from the, um, the collection with, that I talked about last time with the gray in it. Anyway, this is another brown cream. This is a warmer brown cream. This one is like the most beautiful color. It is opaque in one coat. It's one of those colors that is like, if the last one was chocolate ice cream, this one would just be like melted chocolate fondue. So yeah, that is what it looks like. So here is what a lonely house looks like up close. Again, sorry for the sun. If I just shield like that, it's not any better. But anyway, this is what it looks like up close. Again, a very, very creamy, beautiful brown cream. So yeah, this one I'm also going to keep. This is the next polish and it's called Killa Red and it is a very, very dark, beautiful, vampy red color. This is one of the original colors from Rescue Beauty Lounge that I ever purchased. It is the most beautiful, sexy red color. Look at this. It is like amazing, I don't know. It's not completely opaque in one coat. I do need two coats to get it fully opaque, but it is beautiful. I have to say that it's like one of the best sexy reds out there. Still upset that they don't make this one anymore because Rescue Beauty Lounge is not a brand anymore, but yeah, beautiful color. So that's what it looks like in one coat. I'm gonna go in with the second coat of Killer Red and this gets fully opaque in two coats. 
it is such a dream to apply for sure. It's not pulling on this first coat and in two coats it gets that really sexy beautiful red color but it still looks red on the nail so it doesn't look too dark on the nail. So here's what Killer Red looks like up close. Super super pretty again. Super flattering like the prettiest dark red and again I love that it doesn't look black on the nail so yeah that is what it looks like up close. The next color that I have to show you is called Sanguine and I think this was one of the last colors that Rescue Beauty Lounge um, released. I think it was either a blogger color or a fan color, but this is a beautiful sort of Christmas ribbon type of red shimmer color. As you can see, it's super opaque. It is opaque in one coat. Um, I like that this isn't a super bright red. It is a little bit more of a muted red, but it still is that just lush finish of a shimmer that it goes on really easily. So that is what it looks like in one coat. This is what Sanguine looks like up close. Again, really, really pretty, a nice, um, red shimmer, really kind of a classic finish and classic color. Again, I do like that it is a little bit more of a dustier red. It's not quite as bright or as deep of a red. So that is what it looks like up close. The next polish that I have to show you is called Gondolieri. And this is a really bright orangey summery red. It's pretty similar to the color Tamsin from Zoya. One of those sort of more orangey tomato toned reds. But this has an incredible formula, again, opaque in one coat. Um, it just goes on so smooth and so opaque. So yeah, I love this color. This is a pretty perfect summer red for sure. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So here's what Gondolieri looks like up close. Again, super pretty, super summery red. This is one that I definitely pull from a lot in the summer, especially for my toes. The next polish that I have to show you is called Lotus Elise, and this is sort of like a raspberry type of color with a ton of chunkier shimmer running through it, like a glass flick shimmer. Um, this reminds me a lot of like Ally's Big Break from OPI's Burlesque Collection. The shimmer is a little bit more um, translucent though, it's not as golden. It's really pretty though. It does go on sheer in the first coat, but it does build up really nicely. So that's the first coat of Lotus Elise. I'm gonna go in with the second coat of Lotus Elise. And this builds up the shimmer really, really beautifully. It also builds up to be opaque. You can see that that raspberry sort of jelly base went from fairly sheer to fully opaque in two coats. So that is the second coat of Lotus Elise. So here's what Lotus Elise looks like up close. Again, a really pretty shimmery color. The shimmer is pretty chunky in this one and I like the way that you can kind of distinguish it out of the jelly. The next polish that I'm gonna show you is called Elvis in the Cloud. This was from the um, collab that they did with Refinery29. Um, and this is a orange frost with a pink shimmer running through it. It's one of those, um, like you see it in eyeshadow a lot. There's like the orange to pink duochrome eyeshadows. It's like that, but in nail polish form. Um, you can see that in one coat it does cover pretty well, but it does need two coats to get fully opaque. So that is what the first coat looks like. I'm gonna go in with the second coat of Elvis in the Clouds, and this gets fully opaque in two coats. The frost definitely will show brush strokes, so this is a polish that you do have to be careful with if you end up finding it and purchasing it, but um, the shimmer comes up much easier in that second coat. So here's what Elvis in the Cloud looks like up close. This is an example of a polish that I probably wouldn't bear all, wear all that often on its own because it's not really my favorite, but um, it is a polish that I'm keeping again for nostalgia's sake, so yeah, that's what it looks like up close. The next color that I have to show you is called Refined and Polished after the blogger. This is a coral jelly base with a navy blue, or and it's not quite navy, I guess it's like a royal blue glitter running through it. It's not a color combination that I thought I would have liked in a nail polish, but it is very interesting and it is very unique. If you are somebody that has tryptophobia, you probably are not a super fan of the way this looks on the nail because I am not a super fan of the way this looks on the nail. I think the color combination is pretty. However, the color combination with the coral in the base is a little bit too close to my skin tone so that the blue glitter ends up looking really, um, it's that texture of dots and it's just not my favorite thing to look at. So 
This is what it looks like in the first coat. I will swatch two coats for you and kind of get over the fact that it's not my favorite look on the nail. But um, yeah, that's what the first coat looks like. I'm gonna go in with the second coat of Refined and Polished. I'm gonna kind of try to do this quickly because again, not my favorite texture on the nail. Not my favorite look, not my favorite thing. So yeah, that is what the second coat of Refined and Polished looks like. So here's what it looks like up close. Um, again, a color combination that's very unique. Just I think the way it looks on me is not, again, a texture that I particularly like to look at. So this is a polish that I keep for nostalgia sake, but um, for sure I am not going to wear it all that often. But yeah, that is Refined and Polished by Rescue Beauty Lounge. The last polish that I have to show you is called Footpath, and this is a mustard yellow um, cream. This is also one of those colors that like sometimes, you know, on like wood fences, like older wood fences, you see that bright yellow sort of moss or like algae that's growing and it's not really algae but it's that sort of color so yeah that's the color and this is amazing it goes on fully opaque in one coat um, you can see just quite how opaque it is and this is the only of this type of color that I have in my collection it's definitely a very specific color. Um, it's not quite as popular as it was when it came out in terms of color in terms of color tones around you know clothes and fashion and stuff but it's still a very very chic color in my opinion. So yeah that's the one coat of Footpath. Here's what Footpath looks like up close. Again really pretty really specific and uniquely like fashionable I guess um, but yeah still a really color and a color that I don't have any dupes of in my collection. So those are all 10 of the polishes that I have to show you from Rescue Beauty Lounge this week. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would totally make my day. Otherwise, I will see you guys for the next Swatch My Stash video.